Hi developers, in this video we'll learn how to add a database project in our MVC application that manages a list of employees. We could use Entity Framework Core with ASP.NET Core projects in order to manipulate the database so that we can apply the migrations to uh, update the schema of our database. But here we'll be using the database project type in Visual Studio which give us more control on the uh, database because here we could uh, manually um, edit the SQL uh, scripts. So to do that, I'll go here to solution where here I have already defined the web app. Then I'll add a new project by right clicking, then add new project. Here I'll go to other languages and select SQL Server. Then from here, I select the template SQL Server database project. I'll call it webapp.database and hit OK to create that app. Here what it does is that it creates an empty database project. So I'll go and add my or attach my database to this project by right clicking, then click here import. I'll go and import database. So I need to select the uh, connection for my database. I'll go to uh, Browse, I'll go to Local, then I select MS SQL Local uh, DB, and from here I can um, select all the, or I can retrieve the, all the databases that are stored in my Windows machine. Here I select the one ending with 97, which is here the one that I have created, the web app context. So I select that, then here click Connect then click start to uh, start importing that database. So here in this window, uh, Visual Studio is trying to read the database and read all the scripts for it in order to get all the tables and all the uh, metadata related to that database. Once that finishes, I click the finish button. Then here we see that the database project now adds a new folder called a DPU which creates another a subfolder for tables which have the employee.sql. I double click on it to open that file and here it opens to Windows. One is a visual representation of my uh, tables. So here I have the table that we have already created for the employees which contains the ID department and full name along with the type for each column and also if it does or not allow uh, nulls. We do also have that same data represented by SQL uh, scripts right here using the uh, T SQL language specific for uh, SQL Server. So here we have the definition for ID department and uh, full name. To show you how we can work with uh, these uh, scripts, let's say that now I have a requirement for my app to add another column for my employee which is going to be the uh, email address for my employee. So to do that, here I'll add a new uh, column, either using the designer, here I can say email, then I select the data type right here from this uh, drop down list, and here I select nvarchar50. So you see that the, uh, changing this um, right here will trigger changing the uh, SQL script automatically. So here it adds the column for the email with the type and with the default value which is null. Now to apply these changes I'll go and save it then go to the project right click and then select publish in order to uh, build it then apply the changes to the database. In order to apply that change, it needs to uh, check again which database I want to connect to. So I select here edit. And here we do have uh, here in the history the database that I already attached to the database uh, project. So I select it, then click OK. And here gets all the data related to that database, including the uh, connection string in order to be able to connect to it. Then I go and click publish in order to start applying those changes. And from this window, we can see the progress of applying or executing the SQL uh, script. 
And finally here everything executes successfully and it says publish completed successfully. Once that's done, now it means that it, or it adds a new column to my employee table. So let's check if that's true or not. So I'll go again to my SQL Server Explorer and here I'll try to open my uh, database web app inside the um, menu local DB right here. Then expand to the tables and to the columns and then I'll go and right click and select view data. Here it doesn't refresh the page so that's an error in, uh, or actually a bug in Visual Studio so I need to uh, close it then open again SQL Server Object Explorer then ask for a view data again and here we see that we do have a new column added to our table which is the uh, email and the default values were, are uh, null. So now from the MVC app we, when we create or display uh, an employee we can add the email for that employee. So here in order to add it, I'll go to uh, my employees folder to the create razor page right here and I'll add a new, a new entry to uh, write the email for that um, employee. So here I'll go and copy this div right here which uh, contains the two values for the name of the, um, of the attribute which is going to be here the email and then the value for the input for that email and the validation for the uh, email. Here it complains because it doesn't find the email inside the employee uh, model that we have created so I'll go to employee then here I'll add another uh, property that I'm gonna uh, call it email which is of type string then as I did have with uh, create, I'll go also to index in order to display the email for the employee. So here I'll go and copy this one right here, which will display the name of the column. So here it will display uh, email. Then the same right here, it will display the value for that email attribute using here the syntax item dot email. Let's save that and let's run again our application. We'll go to slash employees and here it displays the value for the email. So let's create a new employee and see that here it adds a new, um, a new entry to, for that employee. Let's add this new one right here. And then when it redirects to the index page right here, it adds the new employee with the value for his uh, email. But unfortunately it didn't show the value of the email. That's because it didn't create it, it didn't save it that value for, of the email inside the database. Why? Because if we go back to the uh, controller, to our MVC controller, to the method where we have the uh, create, here it's only accepting those values ID, full name and department. So we need to add right here the uh, email um, the email uh, property in order to uh, get it and save it to the database. So we save that then we run again our application create a new employee then here it displays the uh, his email. So until now we have created the web application and we have created the uh, database project to manipulate the uh, database but we did have uh, we created all of this locally inside my local uh, machine follow me in the next video in order to show you how we can deploy this infrastructure inside uh, azure cloud